Hey guys, welcome back to another tech tip and in today's video I'm going to show you how to forward your Yahoo email over to your Gmail. Let's go. All right guys, just before we get started, just a quick disclaimer, you will need to have access to both email accounts, the one that you're trying to forward from and the one that you're trying to forward to. There are times in this video where I will speak a little fast. Feel free to pause the video or rewind it if necessary so you can go through and take the necessary steps because there are quite a few. We're gonna log into Yahoo first because that's the email we're gonna forward from. We're gonna set that up and then we're gonna log into the Gmail account and basically accept that forwarding. So. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up Google Chrome and I've got my Yahoo logged in here. Now I am on Yahoo Classic. I just tried to figure out a way, obviously I'm, I'm, I can't seem to find it, but I'm on Classic. So if you are on the enhanced version, down here the bottom left hand corner, there's going to be an option that says switch to Classic Yahoo. You're going to need to do that in order to do the next steps. Once you have discovered that and once you are in Classic mode, you're going to want to go to the top right of your and go ahead and click on the cogwheel or hover over the cogwheel and hit settings and that's going to bring up a settings window and then you're going to want to go in and click on accounts and then you're going to want to click on the email address or the yahoo account that you want to forward over to gmail so i'm going to left click on that and we're just going to scroll down to the bottom here because all of this information up here does not matter we are more focused on this part down here where it says access your yahoo mail elsewhere what you're going to need to do Check the box and it may scroll up for some reasons. So just scroll back down and type in the email that you are trying to forward to. I'm gonna type that in. Caps don't really matter, but in this case, I'm gonna take them back off. Uh, so once you've got that in there, you're gonna wanna click verify. This is the part where you're gonna log back in to the account that you're forwarding to in order to verify this particular setting. So we're gonna left click on verify. It says it's gonna send an email. Now I am logged into both emails, so I'm just gonna switch tabs. And right here, the email comes through that says, please verify your email address. Left click on that. And there's a very small link, left click on it. And hit next. It may have you type in your Yahoo password to get just to, just to verify that it's you. So go ahead and type that in. Perfect, I'm gonna click on that. And then you're gonna to wanna to click the blue verify button. And then recur uh, you can actually just close this tab back out. Once you have that verified, you can select this option that says store and forward or store and forward and mark as read. So if you want an email that comes into your Yahoo account, gets forwarded to your Gmail account, but you don't wanna to have to actually like click on it to read it or select and then click mark as read, you can have the system automatically do that for you. If it's an email that you're, you're just want, you wanna read every email that comes through, you're gonna to want to select the top option that says store and forward, that way it gets stored and then forwards over and then you can actually just, you can click on it like it's a brand new email on the Gmail side of things. So either way, select which option you want and then come on down and click save. That's gonna save the setting that you just set up. Now what we're gonna to want to do is go over to the Gmail account and basically set up and accept that uh, forwarding. So we're gonna go back over. You're gonna hover over the little cog, or sorry, you're gonna left click on the cog wheel and then go to settings. And it's gonna bring up the Gmail settings and then you're gonna want to click accounts and import. Once you're in the settings of Gmail, you're gonna to want to go down to about halfway down the page and click on add a mail account from check mail from other accounts because we're gonna basically verify, we're gonna say, okay, Gmail, I want you to accept emails from this specific Yahoo account. We're gonna click add a mail account, type in the email, in this case, Yahoo, because this is, we're gonna verify that you want to be able to receive emails from a specific email. We're gonna choose the David Jumbo at yahoo.com, click on next. Now here's the, where things can be a little bit different for one another is link accounts with Gmailify is for those that are just using a free Yahoo service and they do not have access to premium. In this case, if you do have premium Yahoo, you can use the POP3 option in order to set all of this up. So Yahoo does not uh, support the POP3 if you are not a premium user anymore. So in most cases, if you're trying to forward email from one to another, chances are you're getting rid of, of that, that uh, former email and you're gonna be using the latter email. So in this case, I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose link accounts with Gmailify and click next. 
And it's basically just gonna give you a say, hey, by agreeing, you'll allow Gmail to access profiles, Yahoo Mail, and uh, full access read and write. So basically what that means, it's gonna access profile information. It's going to also be able to read and write Yahoo Mail. So if you want to go through and create a new email, et cetera, it can do that. And then it just gives full access to the mail so you can receive it, read it, et cetera. So if you agree to that, click agree. Give it a second here, wait for it to accept it. And then it says you've been Gmailified. Go ahead and click on close. And you have now linked the two emails. So anything that comes through from Yahoo, so if somebody sends something to your Yahoo account, it will then automatically also get forwarded over to your Gmail account. And it's a really nice way to just have all of your emails in one spot. I do know that Yahoo has the ability to add, actually most providers, free providers nowadays, have the ability to add multiple email accounts regardless of the provider to the same inbox. However, if you're just trying to just make it seamless and you like Gmail or you like Yahoo, you could do either or. But this video is particularly how to forward your emails from Yahoo over to your Gmail account. So one more thing just before we go, let's go ahead and test it. Uh, so like I said, we've got that verified. Let's go into the inbox. And if you're gonna get a few emails letting you know that everything's all set up, you can go ahead and delete both of those. We're gonna tab over to Yahoo as well delete that you can see new sign in from Gmail delete that one as well and then I'm going to send just a test email from the Gmail account but I'm going to type in the Yahoo email to show you that it will go out through Yahoo or through Gmail hit the Yahoo and then come back into the Gmail account if that makes sense so like I said if you need to go back pause the video or rewind it a little bit to make sure that you got all of these settings correct go for it because again, there's some times where I can talk a little too quick. So uh, in this case, like I said, we're gonna type in the Yahoo account, David, here we go. And we're just gonna say uh, link, yeah, sure. And then link test. And then we're gonna go ahead and click send. And it's basically instant as you can see. So we're gonna check the Yahoo account as well. But you can see that it works because it goes out from the Gmail account. And then you'll notice two that's the Yahoo's email username. And then you've got the subject right there. And then if you go in here, you can see that it, it hit the Yahoo inbox as well. So again, it'll keep a copy on the Yahoo account, but it will also forward a copy over to your other email of choice. So I know all of this can get a little confusing, but that is how you go through and set up how to forward Yahoo over to Gmail. Hey everyone, thanks for watching that tech tip. If you liked the video or found it informative, give it a like and a share. Leave any kind of comment or feedback in the comment section below the video. And of course, while you're down there, don't forget to hit the subscribe and we will see you on the next one.